Yep. Okay, what we're just going to quickly show you in this video is some of the aspects of the pockets and the compartments of the first aid kit. If you want to specifically look at every item that's inside the kit, then we have another video which is uh, either on this page or there's a link to, where we will clearly show you exactly what uh, items um, come from the kit. Um, but let's just give you an example of how the, the, the kit has been cleverly designed. Each compartment, as you can see, is clearly labelled. <clears throat> so in this example, we've got crepe bandages for snake and spider bites. Over here, we've got gauze bandages, we've got antiseptic wipes, we've got the safety pins, we've got plastic bags for waste, where you might have some used bandages with blood, um, perhaps you know some nasty uh, diseases and you want to get, get rid of those carefully and soundly. Um, the, even the shears come in their own plastic bag. Let's just open up a couple of the pockets so you can see how most of the pockets work. They've either got a nice elasticated surround to them to keep them neatly and compactly in there, or else for this one, for example, where the triangular bandage is, we've got nice, tough Velcro. If you don't like the sound of Velcro, then turn the volume down. But there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, and then over this side, we've got you know, nice little pockets which have um, got this outer mesh to them. But you've got one, two, three, another one back there. So I hope you can see from this just little short video how cleverly designed the kit is. It's organised, um, it's clearly labelled, and the reason for that is, is that you can clearly see if anything is missing from the kit, you can see if anything needs to be replaced, and if something is missing, you know exactly where it should should uh, pop back into. Now one of the reasons why this is really important is, is that any number of individuals could be using this kit at any moment's notice. So for them to quickly open the kit, boom, straight away they can see, okay, plastic bags, sterile wound dressings, the saline. So they haven't got to rummage around, as with most first aid kits, and try and find a specific item Generally, we'd always advise that, you know, when you purchase a survival first aid kit, that everybody in the family unit is made aware of the kit and how it operates. Show them the individual pockets, and then if the time, unfortunately, should ever come that they need to use the kit, you know, they're very familiar with its, uh, its operation and how it works, and they'll clearly be able to know, okay, I'll go to this side of the kit to get my resuscitation mask, my CPR kit. Anyway, I hope you've just enjoyed that little video. Uh, as I say, we've got other videos which will clearly show you all the, the items laid out, and you can have a look at those too. Thank you.